folks, it's Bunny Love. Lori Laughlin is hiding from the public, please. There's no need. Everybody already knows what you did, honey chow. Let's just get up into this story right now. Lori Laughlin keeps low profile in Beverly Hills after it emerged her husband, Massimo Giannulli, persuaded her to plead not guilty in college admission scandal as the pair faced 60 years in prison. She was seen being embraced by a friend she visited in Beverly Hills and visited a yoga studio earlier that day. Laughlin, 55 years old, and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, entered a plea of not guilty to a charge of bribery on Friday. An insider claims the actress's friends encouraged her to plead guilty, but her defiant husband eventually talked her out of the idea. The pair have been charged with conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud and a money laundering charge. The couple are facing up to 60 years in prison if found guilty on all three counts. As the Full House actress is said to have hit rock bottom ahead of her upcoming trial in the college admission scandals. It comes one day after the actress and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, entered not guilty pleas to the three-count indictment against them in the college admission scandal. Lori Laughlin wore a large hat and appeared to be on call as she had headphones in and checked her cell phone during an outing in L.A. At one point, a friend was seen embracing her as she arrived at the home of another friend as Laughlin was carrying a large bag. Earlier, she was seen wearing sports clothes and was clutching a yoga mat as she emerged from a yoga session with her head down as she wore a baseball cap. It emerged that Laughlin had considered entering a guilty plea after being slapped with a new bribery charge in the Operation Varsity Blues scandal. An insider made the claims to U.S. Weekly on Friday, asserting that the former Full House star was eventually persuaded out of the idea by her designer husband, Massimo Giannulli. Laughlin and Giannulli have previously pled not guilty to two other charges in relation to claims they paid $500,000 to get their two daughters, Olivia and Isabella, admitted to the University of Southern California on phony athletic credentials. The pair are now facing up to 60 years in prison if found guilty. While Giannulli is steadfast in his claims of innocence, the U.S. Weekly source says those close to Laughlin were encouraging her to take a different approach. Her friends and family were encouraging her to pursue a plea deal, the insider stated. But she turned the corner and backed out of considering a guilty plea due to her husband's insistence. She's only listening to Massimo. Just a few weeks prior to the new indictment on October 22nd, the prosecutor in the Operation Varsity Blues case sent out a warning to Laughlin in a rare interview. U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling appeared on the local ABC affiliate in Boston to discuss the ongoing trial, where he has managed to secure prison time for all four parents to have appeared in front of Judge Indria Talawani for a sentencing hearing. Those parents include Felicity Huffman, a woman whom Lelling praised as classy for admitting she was culpable in taking responsibility for her actions. He did not have any praise for Laughlin and Giannulli, however, and instead warned them that their decision to fight the charges in this case would only lengthen the prison sentence recommended by the office if they were found guilty. What I value in the Felicity Huffman sentence is that I think it sent a clear message to the parents involved that there is a good chance that if you're convicted of the offense, you will go to prison for some time, Explain Lelling while appearing on OTR. The least culpable defendant, even she got prison. He also made it clear that he would not be recommending a lighter sentence than the one month he sought for Huffman with any of the other defendants. Here is a few things working Huffman's favor. She took responsibility immediately. She was contrite. She did not try to minimize her conduct, said Lelling. I think she handled it in a classy way. And so at the end of the day, we thought the one month 
was proportional. I think the two weeks she got was proportional. We're happy with that. He then added, I thought it was a thoughtful sentence. The U.S. Attorney's Office will be going to trial with Laughlin and her husband. Two of the 19 defendants who have chosen to fight the charges against them. Lawyers for those individuals are due in court next for a status conference in January. If she is convicted, we would probably ask for a higher sentence for her than we did for Felicity Huffman, Lelling said of Laughlin. I can't tell you what that would be. The longer the case goes, let's say she would go through the trial. If it is after the trial, we would ask for something substantially higher. If she resolved it before the trial, something lower than that. Laughlin is facing a different charge than Huffman, but made donations totaling $500,000 as opposed to the $15,000 that the Desperate Housewives star paid to have a proctor edit her daughter's standardized aptitude test. SATs, for those that don't know. You'd be surprised. Some people don't know. Laughlin and her husband are facing 60 years in prison and over $1 million in fines for allegedly bribing officials in a bid to get their daughters into the University of Southern California. One day after 13 parents entered guilty pleas for their roles in the Operation Varsity Blue scandal, the 19 who did not admit guilt were hit with an additional charge of money laundering in the addition to mail fraud. Among those named are William McGlashan, Manuel and Elizabeth Henriquez, and Laughlin and husband Massimo Giannulli. The charge of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and wire fraud and honest services mail and wire fraud provides for a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, three years of supervised release, and a fine of $250,000, the gross gain or loss, whichever is greater, said a release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Massachusetts. The entire family is in chaos right now. They knew the third charge was a possibility, but they thought perhaps it was just a bargaining tool from the prosecution, the source told the outlet. Laughlin and Giannulli agreed to pay bribes totaling $500,000 in exchange for having their daughters designated as recruits to the USC crew team. Okay, so Laughlin is trying to hide herself, and I don't quite understand why. I mean, for what? Everybody already knows what you did. It's been in the media for the longest time. Big people are talking about this shit from MSNBC all the way over to CNN to Fox motherfucking news. Everybody knows what's going on. They've been knowing what's going on with you for a while now, many, many months. And the paparazzi is hot on your ass anyway. Anytime there's any sighting of you, there's going to be pictures snapped because of all of this bullshit that you're dealing with in terms of the law, being that you are a former Full House star, a celebrity, everybody already knows. I mean, what, I don't get it. You, you're hiding for what? I mean, I guess some people figure, oh, well, she probably just needs a little bit of peace. Give me a break. Give me a fucking break. I mean, look, I think that in Felicity Huffman's case, I said, you know what? Um, she admitted to her wrongdoings. I'm not saying that she was right, but she did admit to what she did. Okay. And I said, all right, it's over with. She got a little bit of time. She got off pretty much basically, but she admitted to her guilt. So I said, all right, everybody, let's just forget it. You know, it's over with. She, she admitted it. Let's sweep it under the rug. Okay. Lori Laughlin is not trying to do that. Lori Laughlin is not trying to admit to anything she's done. She's trying to play like she did nothing wrong. Okay, there's got to be some truth to some of this. She's been all over the news for a long time. Now, even though the media makes up things, they're not making this shit up. She played a significant role in all of this bullshit. So at the end of the day, I don't quite understand why she's acting so suspicious. She doesn't want to be seen. She's hiding herself. Oh, well, it might have something to do with the fact that she's guilty. You know, Felicity Huffman gets a pass from me because she was actually honest about it and she admitted that she did something wrong. Come on, uh, Miss Laughlin. It's, it's time to face the music now. It's time to face the music. You might as well just accept it. You did something against the law. 
It was a nonviolent crime. Okay, it wasn't violent, but it was still against the fucking law. So come on, let's let's just own up to some of this shit. Ain't no sense of hiding out there in the public while you're going to take care of your business. Just it is what it is. To be out there in the open. Everybody knows already. It's come on now. Don't make no damn sense. Okay, so that's it. That's my time, you guys. I'm up out of here. I'm going to go ahead and go. Follow me on all social media. The ending of this video will have just where you can find me on the net, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. If you haven't subscribed already, YouTube, please subscribe and check me out for more celebrity gossip talk and reality show reviews right here on this channel. Peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does it even make sense for Miss Laughlin to be hiding like this? Everybody already knows what she did. You know, I can be a little easier on Felicity than her. Felicity's case wasn't that bad. And at least Felicity had courage enough to admit that she did something wrong. Miss Laughlin here won't do that. So, all right, you guys, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Peace and blessings. Take care.